question. If you could give me anything in the world, um, what would it be? <sighs> if I could give you anything in the world, what it would be would be happiness. And especially in your marriage life. That is in both as <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> in fact, if, if you, <laughs> right now, if I could be able to mold a man, the way a man that will and will not bother he will not will help you um, support you to reach your destiny. That's what I would. Uh, that's what I would just hand over to you and say now, go on. But <laughs> but unfortunately, they are not. Never do them until you start living with them. I yeah. I, I like what so is actually happiness in the future life and knowledge. I, I I like I like how you said it that uh, wishing me happiness and having a man who is supportive and all that because a marriage is a conversation that we've had for a long time. And I've always said that for me, marriage is not a priority. Um, if it's not a healthy thing, I don't want it. So I'm glad that it's not just a marriage for the sake of being married. It's uh, something that is healthy. So that's, that's, that's good. We shall see. I might end up like you and just adopt a little someone to also be running around me. Who knows? Or I might find someone who, you know, is God with you. <laughs> If God wishes for me to be with someone, then he'll make our paths meet. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. You go. Yeah, I pray for the latter. <laughs> okay. So, in my parenting you for the, the years that I have done, um, I, I I would, and even the things that we've talked about, I'm wondering, what would you wish that I did more? Hmm. I think what I wish that you did more is have a little more patience with yourself. Um, you're very ambitious, you're very driven, and I think sometimes you forget what you've already accomplished so much so that you worry about the future. And we, the kids, are constantly having to remind you that imagine you're okay, imagine you're fine, imagine you're, you're just, you're, you're okay. The world is not crashing, not even close to crashing down on you. So I wish you, you were more confident in the things that you've done, the, the strength that you've taken, and, you know, more content, so to speak, rather than, you know, what, what the future holds. I mean, as much as it's human to worry, I feel like you do that a lot in, a, in an almost unhealthy way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I think you're very right. I think that happens a lot. I, 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 I move. I've been told by other people that uh, someone else has told me I move very fast. I'm too fast. I, I, I need to slow down. <laughs> and I think right now, right now, God has decided to slow me down. You are going to because slow I am not doing it down. myself. Yeah. <laughs> eh? yeah. What do you say? You're yes. going to slow down whether you so, like. Uh, yes, I I think sometimes he says, "Girl, you've got to slow down because you decided not to slow yourself down." I do it my own way, mm. and I, and I think he does that. Um, Sometimes and uh, um, and and I keep though I keep on asking myself, what is it that God wants me to learn? 
I, I know I can answer myself. He wants me to slow down, but I'm not slowing down. And that becomes a source of frustration. So, um, yeah, yeah. I think I need to learn more uh, on that and to appreciate the things that I am. Achieved. I believe I actually have achieved a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot, a lot within a very short time. But um, uh, I, <laughs> I, 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 I move very fast and sometimes forget to look back and see where I've come from. Mm. Yeah, mm. you are right. Okay. Question. Do you think you would have raised me differently if I were a boy? No, I don't think so. Not if you were a boy, but probably I, I feel I would have raised you differently uh, when you were younger. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like there, I, I wasn't such a very... Um, a very keen parent. I wasn't very balanced. I, I don't know how to put it. When I, I compare myself, uh, because I, I, I compare myself with the, there's, there's another lady with young children who is my friend, and I keep on telling her, I think you are a very special parent because she creates a lot of time for her children and she treats them like, um, instead of treating children like they don't have their own minds, <laughs> you think for them, allowing them to think and you work with them at the point of their, I mean, their thoughts, even if they are three or four or five years, yeah, which I'm not very good at. And um, apparently I've seen you treat your, your nephews and uh, and niece much better and I've, I think I've told you you can be a very good uh, uh, mother which I don't think I have those qualities I I don't think even today I don't I see it but I don't think still I, I'm able to do some of those things um, and I think most parents of our age may not have uh, uh, done that but now with uh, a lot of learning and exposure I know there are things that I needed to change. If I was to raise you now as a child, I think I would do it totally differently. Mm. Okay. You know, I think um, vision is 2020 when you're able to, you know, look at the past and see what I would have done differently. Of course, now because mm -hmm. you have that experience, you would now, of course, you would see it better. But I think at the time with your generation, the way you guys were raised, that is how you knew how to do it. And yeah. even growing up, I think someone who sees us now wouldn't imagine that there was a time where our relationship as a parent and child wasn't at the best. Um, mm. But it's also because we both recognized that the things we needed to work on individually. I know there was a time where uh, you had a lot of stressors with, you know, financially, with your businesses, with your marriage, with, you know, all that. And then now having to be a parent in that environment, uh, yes, it wasn't. But you've really evolved, you've really grown, and I appreciate the journey that you've had. And I appreciate also the the compliment that I'd make a good mom. <laughs> we'll see. At the very least, yeah. I, I, I also hope to be a mom one day and I, I hope to take on some of the things that I've learned from you. Um, because you say that you feel like you don't raise us uh, with independence. But I think you have come to do that. Maybe it's because now we are older. Uh, but you are, you do give us freedom and space to do and to think, and we do feel comfortable coming to you and letting you know that I'm thinking of making decisions A, B, C, D. So I'm very grateful mm -hmm. for that. 
Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, the next question is, when I grow old, like I'm growing old now, <laughs> oh, will you bring me to stay with you and care for me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that has been the tradition. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we thank God that these days uh, there are adult diapers. <laughs> uh, oh my God. I can't imagine myself in one. <laughs> the cycle of life. Um, I think I think I would like I would love to to stay with you when you're much older, although I'm sure for you, you wouldn't want to get to that state where you are not able to care for yourself. Yeah. But if, if you were to get to that point, I, I would ensure that you are clean, well-fed with good, tasty food. You know, I would, I would make sure that happens for you. If I were to have a husband at the time who isn't uh, comfortable with that, that's something we'd definitely fight over. Uh, because, yeah, I think I think I wouldn't want to abandon you in your old age. Because I've seen people who, when they're older, are neglected, and it's it's the saddest thing ever. Yeah. Okay. What What would you well, want to happen if you know you got to that point? Well, uh, probably what I would pray, you, you know how much I, if, I, I don't like um, being a burden to anyone. Uh, mm. and I, it, it makes me feel helpless. So um, I think what I would want to see happen if I ever got to that age is uh, probably you get someone who can be able to take good care of you. Um, probably pay someone to do it so that you're able to move on with your own responsibilities and work and all that you do is probably supervise uh, that this has been done properly or something like that as opposed to you now uh, doing it yourself you know because um I'm imagining there will be children there'll be husband to take care of there'll be career and so on and so forth therefore um, uh, being now your child again, would, would, I would feel like I'm uh, sort of uh, uh, pulling you down not to move. But what I would hate most is uh, being taken in, um, uh, what do you call those shelter homes that elderly people are taken. It mm. feels more like uh, you are now a bad and go. You know, mm. I, I, I think it is, it is uh, not one of the things, and I wouldn't even want to do that to my own parents, um, okay. really, because uh, I, I would rather have them around me as opposed to putting them in a, in, in a shelter home or in a home for the elderly where they, you pluck them off from their own environment and then, uh, you know, mm. yeah. Okay. Okay. You were brought to this world by as as a sort of very love between two people, 